Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to prepare this wholesome and healthy methi thepla recipe. If you like this recipe, please hit the like button and for more such interesting recipes, please hit the red color subscribe button and also press the bell icon next to it to get notified on my latest updates. So let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, I've taken 2 cups of wheat flour. For 2 cups of wheat flour, I'm adding here 1 cup of freshly chopped methi leaves. You can even reduce the quantity of methi leaves to half cup of methi leaves. I've added 1 cup of methi leaves. Next ingredient is hink. I'm adding half teaspoon of hink. You can even add ajwain instead of hink. For the spiciness, I'm adding 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder. And add some salt according to taste. Around 2 teaspoons of salt is required. Next, this is 2 teaspoons of jeera and coriander powder. I've mixed the jeera and coriander powder. Next, mix all the ingredients well. Using your hands. Into this add 1 fourth cup of curd. 1 fourth cup of fresh curd is added to enhance the taste of the parathas. Don't skip adding the curd. It will give a great taste. Mix all the ingredients well. And add water as required. And knead this into a smooth and soft dough. Add water gradually and keep kneading this. I had forgotten to add the turmeric powder. So add a little turmeric powder around 1 4 teaspoon of it. And, and mix it and keep kneading it until you get a non-sticky and smooth and soft dough. Now after kneading for 5 minutes, our dough is ready and at the end I am adding 1 teaspoon of oil and tuck in all the oil into the dough and knead the dough again. Now our dough is ready. I will show you the consistency of the dough. It's non-sticky and soft dough. Don't make it a tight dough. So we will cover this and rest for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, we'll start rolling the dough. Now the dough has been resting for 30 minutes. We will have to knead the dough again. The more you knead, the softer your parathas will get. So knead it again and squeeze out a small portion of the dough by applying oil to your hands and that's some wheat flour these methi theplas should be rolled very thinly so roll it as thin as possible so now the rolling is done and roll all the sides And transfer this on a very hot tawa. Roast on this side until you observe a change in color. And you get small bubbles on the roti. Drizzle a little bit of oil on it and flip over. And roast on the other side too. Apply oil on top. And you need to cook these methi theplas on very high flame. They are generally cooked on high flame. Cook on both sides until you get golden spots. Now our methi theplas are cooked well. You can see nice golden spots on the roti. Transfer it on a plate. Similarly make all the other rotis. Flip over as soon as you see bubbles. And apply some oil and roast on both sides on very high flame in order to make your methi theplas very soft you need to stack these hot 
rotis one above the other and they will stay very soft until the next day so serve this along with some curd and pickle and enjoy your meal thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed watching this recipe so please hit the like button and do share your feedback in the comment section below do subscribe to my channel for more such wonderful recipes until next time happy cooking healthy eating thank you bye bye